Well, I've been saving this guy for a time when I didn't have something else that I wanted to talk about that was more pressing. Ian Gary. I really don't... I just... I don't like him. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I'm not big on people who talk trash. I, I, I respect putting it out there, but always aiming it at somebody and trying to manipulate the situation. And, you know, I think it, you must have heard about the Kamzat in the elevator story. Basically, his his wife was saying that he should fight Kamzat in an elevator. They were in an elevator together. I think it was Kamzat, a woman he might have been with, and Ian Gary and his wife. They're all in the elevator, and she's encouraging them, I guess, to, to fight Kamzat in the elevator. And then when they get out and he didn't do it, she called them a pussy or something. That's so... Wow. Talk about unprofessional and drama-ridden, and I just, I just I don't have any time for that. I can't... <laughs> That turns me completely off to him right there. Then there's the whole thing about his wife. And like if you saw the pictures of how she was dressed and backstage at the UFC, you are in a hugely testosterone-charged environment. Okay, which is fine. I, I, don't, I don't have any problem with that. But your wife is half-naked. It, you know, if you were going out to a club, fine. I mean, let me take a step back. I don't care what you do in your personal life. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care if you're a swinger. I don't care if you're banging a hundred people. I, I, it has nothing to do with me and I'm, it doesn't matter to me. But Sean Strickland, I think had a point. I don't think he did it right either. I don't like him that much either because of the trash talk, but, um, you know, if you saw that picture or video or whatever, you see that she basically has, like, this shirt that has, like, lines over her nipples. Why are you wearing that to a, to an event? When when your husband is fighting, that's, mm, I, I, you know what I mean? That's, look at me, look at me, look at me. You know, I, I mean, everyone knows you go into a testosterone-charged place like that, bunch of alpha males, and you start throwing your boobs around. What do you think's going to happen? Everyone's going to stare. I think that's who she is. I mean, why else would you be telling your husband to fight Kamza in a elevator? That doesn't even make sense to me. That's like a that's a scary woman you should probably get away from in in my opinion. <laughs> Cuz I've had my share of scary women. <laughs> Trust me. I'm 52. I've had too many of them. <laughs> I just think that she's kind of a look at me and he's a young kid you know I think a lot of the things that Sean Strickland said in essence were true you know I, I'm trying to think of the way he worded it and I don't remember but he was basically saying you should run now and I think he's he's probably right and you know but it's as far as I'm concerned it's none of my business I don't care he can you know be married to her for the, till he dies. I don't care. You know, I'm not going to tell him what to do, but <laughs> you should run. 